Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're checking out this is the Fusion Dock Max 1. And if you can see behind me, I've got the MacBook Pro displaying code. I've got two displays here displaying code. I've got the big monitor displaying code. I've got the little also big monitor displaying. I've got all of the code in the world, periphery vision. I'm like, I'm like strapped into an Apple Vision Pro, except in real life. And the good thing about this hub, it sports not only the four displays that I've got, it sports four displays itself. So I've got this guy plugged into the Mac purely because it's HDMI only. So the only way to get 120 Hertz is plugging it directly into the Mac. But all of these other displays, they are completely fine and running from the Ivanki over here. Ooh, it's a bit warm to touch. But what good thing about it is not only do I have the displays running at the same time, I've also got a 10 GBE network card plugged in via Thunderbolt 3. Got that plugged in. I got all of my keyboards and my mice, my accessories, kind of like 100 watts maybe 10 USB-Cs plugged in as well. Check it out, I've got the MacBook Pro there. I've got a double display, so this is one, two. This third one's plugged directly into the Mac because I'm using HDMI 120, but this guy is also plugged into this guy. And it seems to be very, very buttery smooth. Everything seems to be working. So I do actually like that. I actually spent a good time just making sure it all works. I've plugged a million different things into it. I've also got all of these ports utilized up. So I've got this massive hub plugged into another hub. And I've also got, this is a 10 GBE Thunderbolt 3 adapter. So I plugged that guy directly into here. And I plugged this, oh, this one's the Thunderbolt 3 network card. This one's a monitor. This one's also a monitor. This one's just standard USB-C. And I've got HDMI there as well for that guy. And this is the power, I've got lots of spare ports to go. Now, my biggest job here, now that I've got this all working, is I need to do some desk organization to make this masterpiece look beautiful. I don't normally drive this many monitors because I never had the capability to do so, but now that I can, it's just one complete hug. Actually, let me just show you the solution I was using before I actually had. I had one of these guys, and this guy sports 60 hertz HDMI output. Now, the only thing with this guy where it looks like this is that he actually had a fan inside and whenever I'd use it for longer than a minute, it keep on going and then it quieted down, quieted down. So I completely ripped it open, pulled out the fan and it still worked. So that was, that was pretty good. But this guy, fanless, well, it gets a bit warm to touch. So, you know, make sure you put it in a airflowy kind of area, but it's fanless, so it doesn't make any noise. And not only does it support one HDMI, it's got two HDMI slots in there, but it's also got four extra USB-C Thunderbolt ports that can support displays, but you can only use a maximum of four at the same time. So it's got manuals to tell you the configuration, basically two HDMI and two USB-C outputs or all four USB-C outputs. You can't have six, unfortunately. But yeah, I've, I've actually used the monitor out ports completely fine with the Thunderbolt 3 network card. So that was pretty good. And look, it's all running. And one cool thing I want to show you actually, look at this speed test. So I'm connecting this to the Thunderbolt 10 GBE through this switch towards my Mac Studio. I'm going to hit run and you can see we're bombing it on the megabytes per second. So it's fully working. So that's, that's just amazing. Good job. And the fact that it works, I'm very, very happy with that. The only maybe negative you might think about is that it requires two connections to your Mac. It's not just one port, it requires two. This is the plug that it comes with. So it's just two ports over there. You plug it in, one-handed, just about did it. And that plugs, and that plugs into these two power points. You can probably just use it on a Mac Studio or other devices if you provide the cables themselves. So it has a two-in-one cable that it comes with. And that one just plugs straight into the Mac. Whereas I guess I haven't tested it out myself. But I guess you can just provide two single cables and run it from there. But out of the box, it only comes with the MacBook Pro solution. But one thing I did find a bit tough is for the audio, it's got a three and a half mil position over here. So if you do find it like me tough to fit it in that position, you can just use the audio that comes from the hub. When I did plug it into the MacBook Pro, the three and a half millimeter port for the audio, it was a bit bit hard to fit in there, but it does also come at the back here for three and a half mil audio. So I've got audio plugged in. So my speakers are plugged in, everything is plugged in. One thing to note, it is very, very warm to touch. Like it's not gonna scold me, but it is very, very warm. So probably for longevity, 
I place it in a place that has just airflow so it doesn't get too hot. One thing that's particularly interesting about these fellas is that they're not only displaying completely fine from this device, they're actually being USB-C powered completely from that brick of a monster and it's working completely fine. So I've got <laughs> zoom is code on the screen. So let me know what you guys think of the max hub, maximum hub ability. And let me know what hubs you guys are using. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Wow, I'm taking over too much cold. All right, so this is the Fusion Dock Max 1 made for Apple Silicon quad monitor setup. 40 gigabytes a second, 6 gear, 60 hertz a second. There it is. I Banky is a big, big block of dock. Looks gorgeous. Look at all these ports, all labeled out. Monitor, monitor. 10 GPPS, very professionally packaged. As you can see, everything's fully labeled. You got USB-C, USB-A, SD cards, headphone jacks, monitors over here. It's got a nice little raised stand for beautiful design-esque. And around the back here, look at all these extra ports. You got more, you got LAN, you got 4K displays, HDMI, I love that stuff. You got DC in. Also inside the box, teaches you exactly how to connect it to Mac all the different combinations you can get. So up to four displays. And you also get a lot of cables to help you plug it into your Mac at ease. So this is a power cord over here, but I've also got the Australian edition, which comes with an Australian power cord. And this is, <laughs> this is a cool one. It's got a dual USB-C into two separate cables. You can plug two at the same time, just like that. And this one is the power brick to run it from. And you also get a HDMI cable to play with. So that's really nice they've given you that. Finally, you also get some cable tidies for all that cabling. And this is the chunky manual with pretty much everything you need to know in every language. Porte, Cosa, all your ports, how they all work, but you also got the mini guide as well. So that's good. In case you're wondering, this is where I decided to stick it. So I've got all of the front ports completely accessible and it's all just plugged in and managed around the back.